I'm Shyam Vardarajulu from the Center for Interventional Endoscopy in Florida Hospital in Orlando. The topic of discussion today is about an objective assessment to the algorithmic use of EUS guided accessories. Uh, so far, EUS has been around for 20 years and we've been using the accessories like FNA needles interchangeably for procedures. We do not, we do not have an algorithm. So this study was executed, executed in two phases. In phase one of the study, we, we performed about 550 procedures, which included both fine needle aspirations and interventions. What we found is that the rate of technical failure for both procedures was about 11.5 percentage. During this first phase, we used the standard 19 gauge needle for performing any intervention and the 25 or 22 gauge needle interchangeably for performing fine needle aspiration procedures. So based on the outcomes of this study, we developed an algorithm in phase 2. In phase 2, we used the 25 gauge needle for transduodenal fine needle aspiration procedures and the standard 22 gauge needle for performing any FNA via the esophagus, stomach or the rectum. Then we used the flexible 19 gauge needle for performing transduodenal interventions and the standard 19 gauge needle for performing interventions via the rectum, esophagus or the stomach. What we found is that when we incorporated the algorithm into the clinical practice, the overall rate of technical dysfunction, which is defined as use of more than one needle per patient per lesion, decreased from 11.6 to 1.5 percent. This improvement in technical failure rates stood true for both FNAs and interventions. For FNAs, the rate of technical dysfunction came down from 11 percent to approximately 1.5 percent and for interventions from 16.4 percent to zero. Also, during this time frame, the cost of an individual case per patient or the cost of a needle per case decreased from $199 to $188. There was also no change in the rates of complications. In phase one, it was 0.4 percent and in phase two, it was 0.2 percent. Most importantly, the diagnostic accuracy in both phases remained more than 98 percent. So what we conclude is that using an algorithmic approach to your EUS practice improves the efficiency of the practice, it decreases the rates of technical failure, it improves cost savings without compromising the diagnostic accuracy or the safety of the patient.